Last week, I received my 25 copies of Eel from Comics Wellspring. They were so freaking fast throughout the whole process. Through ordering, printing, and sending a physical proof, sending a digital proof when I revised my files, and sending the final copies. I was surprised and pretty impressed. The books had a few flaws that aren't very easy to control, like dots of ink in random places in the interior pages. Uh, those I didn't mind so much. There were normal folding scuffs on the exterior, but also these weird pressed looking scuffs, probably from the machinery or whatever tools they were using to put the book together. Some of those scuffs are only really noticeable in the right lighting, but still, they look weird and I might send them a message inquiring about that. Anyway, I really liked the paper quality of the book and the printing looked fine on its own. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of my proof from Kablam Printing and my final copy from Comics Wellspring. I actually prefer Kablam's printing because the colors came out darker and richer, whereas the other one is lighter and so doesn't give as much of a feeling of atmosphere throughout the story. See? Kablam's book also lays flatter, while Comics Wellsprings has a more obvious bow and floppiness. So although my experience with Kablam was worse and their copies are more expensive, I may print with them in the next batch. The print result was just more satisfying. Finally, I don't think I've talked much about what Eel is actually about, especially since it's a short 28 page floppy. It's set in a world of magic realism where the main character, Miri, must help her friend when he transforms into an eel. I worked really hard on this and it was my first really serious foray into making comics, so I can't wait to start selling these at conventions and on my Etsy shop and hear what people have to say about it. 